What's up YouTube? Welcome to this Doctor Strange set visit video. So there's been quite a lot of news that has broken out onto the web all about Doctor Strange because the embargo for the set visits have actually gone up today. So we've got quite a lot of information to get through on Doctor Strange. Now you may remember that this had a similar thing with the Justice League movie where we learned quite a lot about the Justice League movie I think that was earlier in the year. But it's all Doctor Strange now. So November the 4th when this film comes out, I believe it's earlier in the UK. I think it's like a week early. For some reason the UK get all of the Marvel films early, which is freaking awesome because you know what? I hate waiting. And you Americans, you get all your games early, you get everything early, and I'm like, no, nah, I'll get my Marvel early. So, let's jump in. So, obviously, quite a lot of things have differed to the comics, we've got the Ancient One, who is no longer Asian, and we also got the Manservant kind of character, very very dodgy stereotype, Wong, who is different. So, basically his sidekick revealed in 1963, wasn't given a name until 1966. Well, you know what? He's no longer the servant of Doctor Strange, making his meals, getting him, like, you know, whatever, charging his iPad when it runs out of battery. Now what he's doing, he is one of the masters, or one of the elders, to use a better term, in the magic realm, in the whole temple, where he is going to train, Doctor Strange that is. So they've changed that quite a lot, which I think is for the better, so I think having an Asian manservant in this day and age is just not really that good, to be honest. It's kind of a bit, a bit not on. So we've got that all changed, and he will be a spiritual an intellectual mentor to Stephen Strange, which is pretty freaking awesome. So, we've also got some differences in the comic as well to the movie. So, we have got the female role where we're going to have a different character. It would have been the Night Nurse in the comics, but this time it's completely different. So Rachel McAdams is playing a completely different character to what people expected her to be playing. They thought that she would be playing Clea, the Princess of the Dark Realm, who has crossed paths obviously with Doctor Strange multiple times, but this isn't the case. She's playing just a nurse who works at the hospital where Stephen Strange works at. And no, she isn't playing the Night Nurse version of that, because she is over on the Netflix shows. Obviously, that is Rosario Dawson, so you can't really have two of the same character. That'd be ridiculous. But we've had some interesting things and other things outside casting and characters. You may be wondering, or you may be keeping count, of where the Infinity Stones are in the Marvel Universe. So they played quite a big part and seem to be playing a bigger part as the universe goes on. Obviously, we saw one in Guardians of the Galaxy which was really, really cool. We saw that cool dancing thing that Star-Lord did as well. So there won't be any actual Infinity Stones in the Doctor Strange film. Kevin Feige has said, or Kevin Feige, sorry, Feige, has said that there will not be any, because they want to differ this universe and this story, this mythos. They want to introduce brand new things instead of just adding in the Infinity Stones for the sake of it, which I think that maybe you kind of need to have that in there. So we've also had very interesting teases that the Illuminati and the Ultimates could be turning up in this. So they're talking about realities and different realities. Obviously, the multiverse was a big thing in both DC and Marvel. And in Marvel, we recently had them all merged together. Same over on DC, but these also these ultimate universes, for example, have obviously Mars Morales in it as well. We've also got the Ultimates, which is pretty much what the Avengers movies are based on, obviously, which gave us the Nick Fury, the Samuel Jackson style Nick Fury, which we are used to now in the films. These dimensions also have the mega villain of Doctor Strange, Dormammu, who, you know what, it's been very hinted that he's going to be in this movie. But at the moment, we have the Mads Mikkelsen enemy as well. We also haven't got Baron Mordo in this, as 
the director has said that they felt that he was pretty much unusable in his current form as a Transylvanian arch enemy stereotype. So they wanted to take it back and look at what he is doing before he became evil and have that evolution on the screen, which I agree with and think is a lot better. So we've got Dawn, I reckon we'll be, they'll be hinted at as well. So that'll be pretty cool to see. We've also got Brother Voodoo as well, hinted at. We've got an Easter egg for that and an Easter egg for the Runaways as well. So it's cool that they're doing that kind of thing like they did in Winter Soldier, where they dropped the name Doctor Strange. So they're doing that again for Voodoo as well. And they explained that, well, they did that because... At the moment, at that time, he wasn't the fully-fledged magician, mystic arts person that he was in, well, this movie, <laughs> where he will be because it's running concurrently with all the MCU events. So, they picked him up, the Hydra computers picked him up because he's famous, he's got all these awards, and he doesn't really agree with the way that Hydra works. So that's why he was tipped for a target. So it's really cool. A lot of information about Doctor Strange, a lot of new info coming out. So we've got no Infinity Stones. We've got no Claire as well. We have Wong, who is a better character. Same as the Ancient One. They've pretty much updated these characters for the modern era and changed them completely. We've got some new actual uh, technology. We've got the sling things, which let them teleport. We've also got some magical artifacts such as the Eye of Agamata and also the Book of Agamata, and we've got some new ones as well. So it's going to be really cool to see how this all fits in with the Marvel of the Universe because it's running concurrently. And we're going to get a hell of a lot of new info, new magic coming in. So you've seen magic before with Scarlet Witch, but now this is the proper introduction to all this mysticism. So I hope you enjoyed all the set roundup of everything that's happened on the internet and hope this was a comprehensive roundup for you. So please do drop a like, please do subscribe, comment below with what you're most excited about for the upcoming Marvel Cinematic Universe and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.